When you retire, it's amazing how many things just vanish overnight. In this video, I'll dive into six that you need to adapt to and replace if you want to enjoy your retirement life. Retiring early has many perks, but to get their benefit, there are aspects of working life that you need to give up and replace in your retirement. In this video, I'll share six things that you might actually miss in retirement but you will need to give them up because if you don't, the impact on your daily life and mental health could derail your retirement. Let me tell you, for me, adjusting from a full-time career, all in at work, was more challenging than I really expected. It took me years to adapt and replace some of these. In fact, some of them I haven't been able to replace yet. I've simply accepted that they're no longer relevant and replaced them with new, meaningful pastimes. I'll explain how later in the video. First up is purpose. Having a job provides a reason to get up in the morning. You're going to work for a reason, usually to earn a living. In early adulthood, that might be to buy clothes, a nice car, holidays, paying for nights out with friends. You know the sort of thing. That was my motivation back in my 20s. Later, it's about supporting your family. It's also about moving forward, growing, achieving, recognition. That was me in my 30s. More about that later in the video. Without the purpose of work, you might find yourself struggling to get some daily motivation. It's important to find a new purpose. For me, that was using my knowledge to help others by coaching, consulting and advising and starting this YouTube channel. For you, it might be something different. The second thing that vanishes is routine. Having a job gives you a daily routine, which is disrupted when you retire. It can be hard to replace that in retirement. When you work full time, the alarm going off sets the day. It's the starting gun for the daily rat race, which despite all its faults, does provide structure and schedule to your day. But you are no longer in the rat race. But having a daily routine is just as important in retirement. As humans, we need structure and routine to our day. It's just that in retirement, you have to be more disciplined. Unlike work, you are completely in control of your hours. There is nobody telling you what to do. There is nobody monitoring your time. It's all just up to you now. It's easy to let the hours just drift away and end the day with nothing to show for them. That's why you have to schedule time on your calendar for exercise, for fun, for socializing, for learning. Make these things a habit and get them booked onto your calendar. That way you'll establish a new routine to replace the one that has now vanished because you're no longer working. When it comes to time, trust me, you don't want to be spending 100% of your time on cruise ship holidays, gardening or playing golf. If you want a purposeful retirement, there's more to it than that. That sort of lifestyle quickly becomes unfulfilling. Which brings me on to my third thing, the journey. Work provides a clear journey with a destination and milestones along the way. Maybe it's being part of a team or leading a team even and working towards common goals. All of that gives you a mission. When you retire, that mission vanishes. The journey has come to an end. So you have to start a new journey because let's face it, the journey of life is still continuing. Just because you've left work, the journey of life doesn't stop. It's just the work journey that stopped. Your bucket list is a good starting point. Start ticking off the places that you've always wanted to visit, but set yourself other targets, targets for personal development and health. I set myself targets every year for health, travel and learning. And I also still work only a very small number of hours these days because four years after I retired, when I didn't work at all, I just decided it was time to use my knowledge again. I made the decision to do some work just not full time. It's only a few hours a week at most, whenever I can fit it in around travel, exercise and education, of course. My work involves using my accumulated knowledge to help others who are a little bit further behind me on the path. We all have knowledge which we can share to help others. Retirement is a great time to use that knowledge if you want to create a purposeful life. Number four is identity. By the time we hit our 40s, many of us are defined by a career choice that we made in our early 20s. Our identity is inextricably linked to our job. When you meet people and they ask you, what do you do? You'll usually answer with your profession or job. I'm a recruiter, I'm an accountant, I'm a lawyer. You know the sort of thing. After retiring, you might struggle when people ask you that question. What do you say? I'm an ex-recruiter, I'm an ex-accountant, I'm an ex-lawyer. But know this, you are not defined by your job. It's just something you needed to do in early adulthood, a way of making money. And let's face it, because everybody else was doing it too. It's a societal norm. It doesn't have to be the case if you retire early. 
Many of us define ourselves by our careers. Without that, introducing yourself in a social situation can sometimes prove difficult. My stock answer when asked is, I'm retired. I still work occasionally, coaching, consulting, and helping others so that I can share my knowledge. Don't let your second half be defined by the career choice you made in the first half. Which leads me to my fifth thing, career. Your career is over. You're no longer moving up the ladder. No more taking on new roles. No more seeking more responsibility. It's liberating, eventually. It's great not needing to impress anyone anymore. Despite that, it's hard to adjust after 30 odd years in the workplace. Retirement can feel like an abrupt full stop. After all, it's been your life for the last 25 or 30 years, or maybe even longer. A life of pushing for more money, pushing for more work, pushing for more sales, pushing for more staff, pushing for more responsibility. It's what's known as the hamster wheel, and you are no longer on the hamster wheel. And that will be a relief, trust me. Now it's time to adjust your priorities, stop chasing, and start experiencing. Use your time to travel, learn new things, meet new people. With no promotion or pay rise at the end of it, it feels good, but it will take time to adjust to this new mindset. To prepare, you have to plan what you will do instead of work. What will be the new vision for your life? My final thing, number six, is status. You lose the social status that comes with your position and job title. You are no longer head of, director of, manager of. With your job title comes a certain status that you no longer have. Losing that can affect how you are viewed by others and even how you view yourself. Remember my earlier point that your identity can be tied to your job. Without the job and the status, some people just vanish. The last time you'll ever see them is when you leave work for the last time. They are usually your staff and work suppliers. They vanish overnight because you are no longer useful to them. You no longer sign the checks. You no longer make the decisions. So they don't need you anymore. And that can be a tough thing to take. The invitations to play golf, have lunch, attend an event, all vanish overnight. I found that part of early retirement the hardest to navigate. It takes time to overcome, but there is a solution. That solution is to cultivate friendships and relationships well ahead of your retirement date with people who genuinely want to spend time with you, not because they want something from you other than your company and not because they have another agenda. Yes, there will be less of them, but the relationships will be much deeper and more fulfilling, much better than the superficial relationships you had when you were at work. Just don't forget, start building these relationships well ahead of your retirement date. So how will you fill these voids? It starts with establishing new routines. That might mean keep working, just reduced hours, or volunteering. I think at this stage of life, it's important to share your knowledge to help others. There are many people on the path behind you who could benefit from that knowledge. So don't be frightened to put it out there. Also create daily routines that involve exercise, learning, any form of development, and especially cultivating relationships and friendships. It's a fact of retiring that you will have to reinvent your identity. But remember, you are more than your career. You are not defined by a job title. And retirement might just be the opportunity for you to discover your true passions. 